Hey everyone, uh, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays for uh, those of you who do not celebrate Christmas and while well, that might sound uh, very uh, politically correct of me to say, according to my analytics, I do have viewers in uh, Israel and other countries that are not uh, very uh, Christmas prone, so Happy Holidays to those of you and anyways... We are playing Dawn of War, Dark Crusade, and this is the Christmas special. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know what um, Dawn of War, Dark Crusade is, it takes place in the Warhammer 40k universe. I've done videos on this game in the past, and this series kind of died out pretty quickly because it wasn't very relaxing. But I think I've learned from that mistake. So, I spell that right? I don't know. I'm kind of dyslexic sometimes. So, and I can't, also I'm terrible at spelling. I'm better at math and whatnot. Well, I'm terrible at math, but you get the point. So, we're going to make this as ugly as possible. Actually, I don't want to go blind on the battlefield, so we're going to do some medium green with some <laughs> red camouflage. And red, actually we're going to do some, some gold trim. These are Santa's little helpers right here. There we go. That looks so ugly. Oh my god. Okay. I can't. <laughs> I can't honestly go through and do this. So we're going to just kind of create a decent army that doesn't look like complete trash. Um, I know what map we're going to be doing, so they're going to kind of be somewhat snow themed. We're going to keep the green colors a little bit and we'll do a darker weapon. So this is an Imperial Guardsman. They uh, serve the, uh, what's the most Christmas like emblem I can do? They serve the Imperium of Man and they are basically just regular human beings against some pretty spooky creatures that are out there. Now, I do not have a badges or banners pack, so we're going to be doing the number closest to 420, because why not? And we're going to be doing uh, the most Christmas thing possible, and that is the World Eaters badge, because why not? So, oh my god, that is not okay. Much better. Alright, so we're not going to be doing the campaign or anything like that, but instead we're going to be doing a match on Into the Breach, which is one of my all-time favorites. Um, everything looks like it's good to go. We want them to start on the opposite side, so we're going to close out these positions, and we're going to go against the least annoying AI possible, which is really hard to do. And I don't mean like annoying as in like hard to go against, I mean like annoying as in they don't make annoying noises. So we're probably just going to go up against, or actually that's a terrible. Yeah, we'll go up against orcs, why not? Um, these are the orcs, if you're wondering. Um, they basically cobble all their vehicles together with junk. And some somehow it runs. So, I mean, they're about as, um, as primitive as you can get in the Warmer 40k universe. So, this should do the trick for the game. And let's get into it. So, this is, uh, I've been probably been playing this game since I was, oh boy, maybe six or seven. But I'm still terrible at it because I don't take the game seriously. I just like the units and uh, building buildings and having fun. So, but let's go. So, we're going to start by... Um, getting a infantry command out first. And these are my plasma generators, which will provide power 
one of the resources. I gotta hurry up and take this area as fast as possible. So we're gonna be taking these strategic points over here to hold that area. Now, if you are a veteran of Dark Crusade, keep in mind that I haven't played this game in quite a while, and um, I'm also kind of recording this with the, uh, the thought in mind that maybe the person watching does not quite understand the mechanics of this game. So, there we go. And then we're gonna need to go and bring this guy over here. ASAP. It's going to take a couple more seconds before we can afford a, tur a turret, but that will help a lot with keeping them at bay. So, let's see. I don't need more guardsmen quite yet. But I gotta be a little faster though. Because pretty soon the orcs are going to get bored with the uh, points that they currently have. And I am going to need to go and, um, well, defend my territory. So. And let's make things much, much, much more fun for the orcs by placing mines right there. Trust me on that one. Alright, that should be finished in just a second, which will give me a temporarily requisition bonus, allowing me to purchase this listening post. Perfect. Um, it's going to take a little bit longer before I can start affording some fun stuff, but in the meantime, I need to get ready for the first wave of orcs that'll be piling through this breach. Um, let's see what we got here. All right. Hmm. I'm going to need to build more listening posts in the area. A lot more listening posts, for that matter. And, let's see. We're pretty good on resources, I'd say. Well, I don't mean like, you know, we have plentiful, I just mean like we have a good start. Alright, oh. Beautiful. So by upgrading the listening posts, we actually get more requisition and a defensive holding point, which is always important. So he's not going anywhere. Let's see, we definitely need to upgrade these, and then we're going to move and start actually pushing down the tech tree now that we have a decent foothold set up.
All right. There we go. And oh, we got uh <laughs> Rocket Boys. One of my favorite things is looking at the end result of just all the bodies that are left behind by the orcs. <laughs> it's really entertaining in a very sadistic way, but yeah. Let's get some commander units out to kind of help with the tide. Oh, we need a little bit more. There we go. Um, if you've ever played Company of Heroes, this game was made by the same developers. So, if this kind of gameplay style looks familiar to you, not as like an RTS standpoint, but like the engine, then that's why. So, this is the commander unit. Um, it's pretty cool. And this is one of his psychotic uh, assistants. A priest that carries a chainsaw. Pretty cool. <laughs> ah, the ridiculousness of this just makes me smile every time. Alright. This is probably the most Christmas thing I think I could have ever done. Just, there's no doubt to that in my mind. Um... Alright, when that's finished we can move up the tech tree just a little bit and start getting some more fun stuff out. The current orc invasion is on hold for some reason, which worries me, because that means that they're planning something. Dirty green skins, as the Imperium would call them. Ooh, so close. Ah, out of resources. I used it all too quickly. All right, let's do some research though. I we can get more of these guys, but I'm not sure if I want to do that quite yet. Beautiful. And that's kids, why we use mines. There's so many little details about each little combat situation. Like, it's awesome. I just love it so much. Ah, oh, what happened up here? Oh, I was too distracted and I lost a turret and an engine seer. Hmm. Well, let's fix that by equipping our squads with anti-infantry weapons, as well as building 
our mechanized commands. So we're uh, we're gonna start playing hardball now. So things are about to get real serious. It is time for a refreshing sip of vanilla Coke because I'm about to cough and I don't wanna do that right now. Oh wow, listen to this. Wow, it's so great, right? Good stuff, good stuff. All right. Uh, there we go. All right, cool. Uh, I need more money. Okay, there's nothing for us to upgrade to uh, get more money quite yet. So, and here we go. All right, so we're kind of getting a little flooded here. So I got to be a little smart with my uh, actions here. I'm trying to lure them into the minefield, which is kind of working. In the meantime, let's get some... We're gonna get some basilisks out and start a and just start laying waste to them in a little bit. Let's see, where did the big gun come out? Where did, there he is. So we're gonna put him up here, and this is the heavy weapons team. Uh, fairly. Um, well, I mean, they, they just tear stuff apart. So, these guys will be good for taking out the heavy oily armored um, orcs that'll be coming up that we're starting to see. And we can also use them to take out light vehicles that the orcs seem to favor using. So, we got a little bit of a reinforcement to do here, but not such a big deal. And we can start getting out the big um, oh no's for the Imperial Guard. That really caused some trouble. So. Um, where is, there we go. Let's 
Let's see. So when things get, when they start coming in next, I'm going to use the strifing run right here. And that's basically um, like an airstrike that'll come through and... These things are definitely going to help out. And some hellhounds. And... Let's move. We're producing the Beyblade. I don't mean no early 2000s anime. I mean... Well, I'll show you. It's not called the Beyblade, it's called the Bane Blade, but, you know, dyslexia. So, it's great. Alright, we're gonna drop down some turrets. Nah, we'll keep it as is. We got pretty good defense going here. Let's move you... Uh, All right, the next wave is probably going to be matching what I have set up here, so I need to be ready for it. All right. God, they're so weird, but so cool at the same time. All right. All righty. All right, they're still in low tier, so we're ahead of them by very far in the tech tree. All right. These guys will tear through everything. Like, that's not even a joke. They just tear through everything. Fairly overpowered. And... Uh, let's see what else we can do here. Because we're going to start running into some pretty interesting limits here with our population caps if we're not careful. So I think what I'm going to do first is actually move in and have the Hellhounds act as scouts. And these guys will be able to dispatch large swarms of infantry with relative ease, but not so much tanks. But they can also burn down buildings really easily. So they're good for sort of like assaulting a base. So they do area of effect. So when one gets hit, they all start to get hit and it allows for pretty good deterioration on their, uh, so may the inferno rise, I suppose. That's a lot of them. Okay, good to know. There is a lot of them. Like, a lot of them. Wow, okay. But we have the solution for that. The Bane Blade. Eleven barrels of Imperial Guardsmen Hell to unleash upon the orcs. Yes, by moving out of the way. So the Hellhounds did not last. So let's get some uh, Lemon Rust Battle Tanks. Or Lee Man, or whatever you want to call them. So we know for a fact now that the Orcs are fairly well set up. But so are we. Those Hellhound Scouts may not have lasted very long, but it did reveal the tricks they are hiding up their sleeves. So...
All right. Let's make things fun, shall we? <sighs> Let's give him the old 1812 and see how they react to that. So pretty soon they're going to wise up and try attacking, but I don't know if that's a good idea anymore for them. Alright, that should loosen up the amount of space we have units taking up. And let's begin the 1812 procedure. So these tanks um, may not seem like it, but they do quite a bit of damage. <sighs> Let's not let that finish getting built, shall we? By completely destroying it in the process. Wait for it. Boom. Boom. Complete and utter annihilation on every regard. And that's going to make them really mad. All right, so we need to wait a little bit longer before we can start the artillery process once again. And it just happens to be that that's right now. So we're trying to lure them out and make them actually make a move here. But it doesn't seem like they actually want to do anything, which is really unfortunate. So, if that doesn't lure them out, then nothing will. Okay, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> well, let's take a look at what happened here. So, we have our Bane Blades, or not Bane Blades, we have our Bane Blade over here. We have our Lemon Rust Battle Tanks ready to go, just in case if things got hairy. We've got two of these guys right here. Some of them are T-posing, but you know, you can't really blame them. That is a huge artillery shell. <laughs> so I don't know what he's trying to look at, but all right. So we've got quite a bit of uh, death surrounding us over here. This was not nearly as gory as I was hoping it would be, but we do have uh, quite a bit of bodies to lay up. Now, if you've never played this game, trust me when I tell you this is a small amount of bodies. Usually there are much, much more. My favorite, which I have a picture somewhere on my old phone, is where this entire breach is just littered with orc bodies. Ah, those are the good days. So, yeah, this has been a not-so-Christmassy Christmas special where I, um set up as the Imperial Guard, and, um, well, obliterate. I actually wasn't expect- I forgot that I had Destroy HQ on, so I'm a little disappointed on that. I thought I was doing Annihilation. But, anyways... I mean... <laughs> what you gonna do about it? So let's take some- let's get, let's get some closer looks here at what's going on. So my favorite is his facial expression, because he just looks like so done with everything. <laughs> Keep in mind this game was made in about 2000, I don't I think 7 maybe? I don't know. It's a pretty old game. So we got our generic guardsmen there. These guys look like stormtroopers, kind of. Well, they are technically actually stormtroopers for the Imperial Guard. Like, not like stormtroopers isn't like, you know, that, but, you know. We got our ugly ogrins. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. 
Um, the, this is the um, Imperial Guard's attempt at sort of their own super soldier independent of the Space Marines. I might be a little ru like rusty on my lore, but um, please bear with me. Got our field command here with lots of skulls. We got our sick little uh, engine seers over here, our tech priests. Um, I don't know uh, where my other units are, oh, they're in the uh, storage. And then we got our favorite, the command squad, with our crazy psychers, or not psychers, uh, priests. Our crazy psyker over here. Our commander boy with his um, haircut before it was cool. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but you know. We got our uh, commissar. He's pretty battle grim. Then we got our big friggin' tank over here. <laughs> so I will also say that when Battlefleet Gothic Armada comes out, for those of you who are Warhammer fans, I will definitely be playing a lot of that. So, anyways, thank you for checking out my um, oh-so-terrible Christmas special, and have a fantastic night.